Today, I'm here to help you understand how internet speeds work. Let's say you have a five internet 500 package, which delivers 500 megabits. If you run a speed test, it's important to know that some speed tests measure the speed to the modem and others, such as the one available on bell.ca, measures the speed to the modem and to the device. You do a speed test and you see that your download speed is lower than 500 megabits per second. The first thing to know is that the speed you signed up for is the speed to your modem or what we call the home hub. The speed is then shared with all the connected devices in your home. The more devices you have connected, the less speed each device will get. So let's say you have five devices connected and each are using the internet equally at the same time. A laptop, a phone, tablet, gaming console, and a smart TV. Each device would share your 500 megabits per second connection and each device would get 100 megabits per second of speed. In addition, it's important to know that the maximum speed a device can deliver varies based on the type and age of your device. Are you using an older device like an older laptop or smartphone? We've all been there. But older devices often can't handle super fast speeds. The quality of the Wi-Fi connection also determines the speed your wireless connected devices are receiving. To get more speed to each of your devices, upgrading to a higher speed package will help ensure more of your devices can run at their maximum speed. We also have Wi-Fi extenders to get the most out of your wirelessly connected devices. Looking for more helpful how-to videos from Bell? Check out our YouTube channel today.